There have been some changes to the wiring regulations and a corrigendum has been released. The changes are not severe, nothing like ZS changes or having to learn new condition codes, and these changes will be easily incorporated into our working lives. In this short Learn Electrics video, we will show you the changes, what pages of the wiring regulations they are to be found on, and a few words about the changes. Download your own copy of the corrigendum and update your copy of the regs. It should take no more than 15 minutes to do this and we'll tell you where to find the corrigendum in a moment. The corrigendum is a short list of amendments that the authors, the IET, wish to make without publishing a new amendment to the 18th edition. The changes come into effect from Monday the 15th of May 2023 and are available as a free download from the IET website. This video is specific to the Brown Amendment 2 Wiring Regs book. This is the book colour that you should be working from. You can download your own copy of the Corrigendum as a PDF by entering the address shown here into your web browser. This address will also be on the introduction page to this video. A page will open up and a link will be made available to you to go to the PDF file on the IET website. Or the page may look like this. I've found both pages available to me. Again, there's a direct link to the PDF that you can use. When the PDF opens, the first page should look like this, with the corrigendum details on it. This PDF can be saved. We should use the corrigendum to update our own copy of the Brown 18th edition Amendment 2 book. And we should all be working from the Brown book now. There are five changes that we should take note of, and these are listed here. On the next few slides, we will look at each in turn, the change and the pages on which the affected regulation will be found. The first one is to do with section 422, precautions where particular risks of fire exist. The regulation number is 422.2 and it is found on pages 86 and 87 of the Brown Amendment 2 book. If you have printed the corrigendum, the amendment details are on page 6 of the Corrigendum. Regulation 422.2 on page 86 has been amended in order to add clarity to identifying just which part of a protected escape route is being regulated by this change. As you can see, in red, the regulation now tells us that cables or other electrical equipment shall not be installed in a firefighting lobby, shaft or staircase of a protected escape route unless and then some additional requirements. Then on page 87 is a note to this same regulation and the same words have been added in a firefighting lobby, shaft or staircase etc. I've just written the new words next to the regulation in my own book. The next one affects section 443 protection against transient over voltages of atmospheric origin or due to switching. And this is found on pages 107 and 108 of the regs book, or pages 7 and 8 of the corrigendum. Regulation 443.4.1 and table 443.2 are both affected. For regulation 443.4.1 on page 107, indent number 2 has been removed from the regulations to avoid any unintended consequences of specifying certain items. My interpretation is that they are telling us that the competent person or designer should decide what is or isn't sensitive equipment. So we can cross out the indent that begins number two, failure of a safety service as defined and so on. For the same reason, table 443.2 on page 108 or page 8 of the Corrigendum has specific reference to alarm panels, computers and home electronics removed. This will be found in the rightmost column of the table. Section 534 also has a change to be aware of. The note to the regulation 534.4.1.1 on page 164 has been amended. This is page 9 of the Corrigendum. The fifth line of the note to this regulation has had the reference to and fire and security alarm systems removed in order to avoid listing specific examples of equipment as we saw 
for a previous regulation. The reference to hospital equipment remains in the note. Now to section 701, locations containing a bath or shower. Regulation 701.1 .1 is found on page 242 or page 10 of the college endem. In this amendment, the reference to birthing pool has been removed and this now reads in locations containing a fixed bath, bathtub or shower and so on. And finally to section 710 medical locations and page 279 or page 11 in the corrigendum. This is a new regulation and I simply cut this out of the corrigendum and carefully glued it onto the page close to where it should be located. The new regulation tells us that within a healthcare facility cables or other electrical equipment may be installed in a protected escape route where and then the indents 1 and 2 and the note should be read as these discuss the necessary technical memoranda, fire safety guidance and documented fire strategy which should be followed in order to comply in healthcare facilities. And that web address is shown again for you and we hope that this short video on the core agenda has helped. As I said at the beginning, nothing severe but we do need to take note and act accordingly. Thank you for watching, it really is appreciated and we hope that you found this video useful. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel, so don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again very soon.